Welcome everybody to another show. Uh, today we are finishing the box set, the Mouselin Heroes box set by Reaper Miniatures. Um, first of all, I want to give a huge shout out to Mr. Mighty Lancer James. It's his birthday today, so happy birthday to you. I hope you don't get too drunk on all that wine you're drinking tonight. Um, so what we'll do, I shall explain to you what's going to happen. Um, so far, we've done all the uh, prime colours on our miniatures and I've added all the ink washes. And let's get some focus. Thank you, Tommy. Awesome guy, you. There you go. So these are the little mouselins so far and they look fantastic. All I need to do today is we're going to add some little highlights to each of the mouselins. Um, and we're going to base them and get them all finished off. Beautiful little fluffy little creatures. Um, I'll be doing the eyes today. <laughs> Everybody's like, he's doing the eyes. Let's watch him closely. Now, with the mouse lings, the eyes aren't too difficult to do because all we're doing is adding a little spot of black for the eye. And then we're adding a little bit of white as a reflection. And then I'm going to go over the eye with some gloss varnish. Now, you don't have to use gloss varnish. Um, but I just find it gives a nice little reflection um, to all the areas of the eyes. This is a beautiful little mouse thing. Um, we've got the little rogue. And the little archer mouse thing. So like I said, I'm going to do just your basic colours. Um, so we'll be going over, for example, we'll be going over the green, which is a lighter green. And we're just basic highlighting. We get those eyes done and those basins. So I'll make a start and we'll start off with the green. And I'll use my little mixer. <laughs> Sound effects too, eh? So just a tiny bit of green. And what I'm going to do is put a bit of dragon white on my palette as well. Just in case I want to mix a little bit of colours in. Oh, need my pokey stick. <laughs> pokey stick. There you go. Okay, for the highlights for green, all we're doing is I'm using my uh, Masterclass brush. And I'm just mixing a little bit of green and adding a tiny weeny bit of white. Just to lighten it up a touch. Get a bit closer. And all we're going to do is go around the edges and highlight the edges of the cloak on this mini. Fast and simple. And just on the side there. This is the this is my favourite part of the miniature painting. Um, and that is just adding the little extra highlights. Um, it just enhances that miniature so much. Uh, just adding a lighter colour on top of a darker colour just really brings it all together it's very simple but it's quite important to do as well um, uh, you, you don't have to go to this stage I mean you can leave it as it is you could you could have your miniature um, like this one here you can just leave it like it is uh, that looks fine for your tabletop but what I do I like to add a little bit of edging to all the metal areas um, and it just brings out a little bit more for your little mouseling this one is my favorite one it's very very cool okay and we've got the barbarian he's got a little bit of uh, green around his loin cloth uh, so we'll just add a little hint of green here just to pick out the little areas there you go like little leaves it's a loincloth made of leaves oh, beautiful a little bit on the back as well there we are that's all we need to do for that Now 
Like, so let me say hello to everybody. Um, Tommy's in the house. Uh, we got my skull player, uh, Scottish Andy, uh, Renegade Shank. Anyone else? Umbro, hello Umbro. Um, uh, the bold GM just subscribed. Thank you so much, and welcome again to the uh, Goblin Army. It's fantastic seeing you in the Discord channel. Um, um, more the merrier, and I hope you're enjoying your stay in the Goblin Army. Uh, Michelle's in the house. Uh, awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Uh, uh, Dover Cook. Um, don't recognise the name, but I'm saying hello to you anyway. <laughs> Okay, let me carry on. Thank you all for so much for popping in. I mean, just you support, supporting me being, watching my channel. I mean, it's nerve wracking doing this. <laughs> uh, but knowing I got people to talk to in chat, it really helps so much. So thank you for popping in and saying hello. Um, this is my fifth week now streaming. Um, so slowly getting my confidence each time we go live. And I still get all the butterflies. It's, uh, it's, 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 I don't think that'll ever go away. My stomach churns before I press that go live button. Um, okay, so let's move on to the next one. Um, we're going to go for some blue for our little wizard. That's a very cool little wizard. Um, for the wizard, we'll just highlight his cloak and his hat. And that's all he'll need. So again, I'm just adding a little, little bit of blue to my palette. Um, I'll add a tiny bit of white just to lighten it up a touch and then we just go across the rim of the hat and he will be done as well. So I've just added a tiny weeny bit of white and I'm just going over to the front of the hat there just on the edge quick and simple and just going up the center of the hat just to give a highlight in the center and when that dries, it all blends in really nice. It gives a lovely effect. And we'll go around all the little ripples on the wizard's cloak. So we're just going over the highest areas of all the ripples. And that's all this little mousy needs. That's all he needs. Happy little mousy. And just on the back here, just around his hood. And just over the folds on the back. And you're done, my little mousy friend. <laughs> here you go. On the top of your hat. What I'll do is I'll use um, this contrast yellow. Um, because he's got a very cool little pipe. Um, I'm sure Tommy would like to have that pipe. <laughs> and that contrast yellow will give a nice bright glow. In fact, we'll do that now. While I'm, while I'm thinking about it, or as I forget. So I'll just wash my brush off. Yeah, Muse's touch. I'm sure I saw Muse's touch then. Oh, Tim's in the house as well. Hello, Tim. Half the goblin army popping in. <laughs> so I'm just going to use a quick bit of this contrast yellow. This is great stuff for if you want to paint fire. And, uh, oh, I better give it a mix first. <laughs> I still, still, still not can't get used to this vortex mixer. It's awesome, honestly. If um, if you're serious about miniature painting and you've got a little bit of extra cash, it's not cheap. It's ninety nine, ninety nine pounds on Amazon for this vortex mixer, but uh, but it really mixes your paints up so well. I cannot, um, I cannot say how fantastic that item is, um, and it takes seconds to get all your paints mixed properly including the original 90s games workshop paints uh, so yeah so all we're going to do is put a little bit of the yellow in there oh yeah he just he just lit up his pipe look <laughs> so that's my wizard done okay what we'll do now is um, let's get all our silver done now because we've got to get all these uh, silver edging done on all the areas. I'm going to do the eyes last. Um, thank you, Umbro, for subscribe. Um, and we'll. I'm just going to use some uh, 
air silver this is from this is Valeco air um, it's a bright silver and the reason I'm using this is because I've actually run out of silver thank you for subscribing Alfie um, Alfie Alfie I hope I said that right and I apologize if I said it wrong I'm not the best of reading <laughs> you have to forgive me if I've said your names wrong if you subscribe or follow I don't mean to um, I was good at art in school but English no <laughs> English I was useless absolutely useless I don't think I could uh, I don't think I, I learnt my ABC till I was about 12 or 13 oof nightmare absolute nightmare some people are just good at English um, Claire wow she she she's just she corrects all my spelling errors you know she's a, she's a godsend um, and also Grammarly thank God for Grammarly on Twitter eh and even then I still make mistakes and all my goblins know as well caps lock is my biggest enemy caps lock oh my god why do they have the caps lock? <laughs> oh my god oh. Oh, let me let me carry on with what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm edging the silver around the. <laughs> I'm talking away so much here. I'm edging the silver around the edges of this um, battle axe, um, and what happens is this is going to give you that lovely um, sharp edge. So we're just going along there, very simple to do, and that will give you a nice edge to your battle axe, and the light reflects off it, as you can see. And what we'll do, we'll add it to his little bottom there, just here, a little tiny bit, and he's sorted. The same with all the swords, because these mouse limbs are so small, um, we're just, it's just a basic of details, um, and what I'm doing, I'm just edging the side of the paintbrush along the sword, and this will just give a nice bright effect to that one sword, side of the sword and what we do is we keep the bottom dark and the top light and it gives a lovely little effect plain and simple just like and um, we've got this one to do here Okay, so again we're doing the sharp edges, we're using the edge of the paintbrush. And maybe just a little bit here, there you go, look at that. So you only need a tiny bit, I mean it just works really well and it's giving you that sharp edge. And that's what you're looking for, you want it to look rustic and old but you want that edge nice and sharp. Especially if he's cutting lots of cheese. He might be making cheese sandwiches later, so he needs a nice, nice sharp, nice sharp blade for his cheesy sandwiches. Mmm. Right then. And the same again with this one. All we're doing is the top of the blade. And again, if you see, I'm using my my hands to steady myself. I'm using both my hands. I'm actually using two fingers to steady myself from holding the miniature. And all I'm doing is going straight across top of the blade and we are done and coming up to my favorite one this is going to be fun now I'm going to spend a little more time on the armor in this one because um, he's got a lot of it and he's a very very cool funky mini so on this one I'm going on one side of the sword and I'm going all the way down the one side of the sword to highlight that edge I'm leaving the other side dark so you can see there's a reflection going on that sword as I can see it as I'm turning it in the light it's going dark light dark light and what we do very simply on the other side we do the reverse so I'm going up the other side of the sword on this side and you're getting that effect on the back so if you go around in the light the whole sword reflects the light dark light dark light awesome stuff okay so now 
I want to add some edging to his faceplate, so we're going around all the edges of the metal now. There we are. I'm just on the front. Lovely. And around the shield. And the top of the shield. I love they got a little acorn. They got a little acorn on the shield there. <laughs> acorn hunters. <laughs> Thank you for following. I'm not even gonna. I, I can read the noob. I'm not. I can't say what that says in the middle though. <laughs> the G N G R noob. How's that? That sounds awesome. Okay, I'm just doing his breastplate now. And all we're doing is going down the center of the breastplate. Well, that's all we need to do, just add in a little tiny bit of silver, just to highlight those edges. Evil Kipper, thank you for following. I recognize that name, I'm sure, from Twitter. And on, same on the back, all we're doing is going down the back here. And we're just edging along the bottom. And maybe a little bit here and there. Now on the helmet, we just want to get the tops of the helmet, a tiny weeny little bit of silver on the top of the helmet. And I think that's done. I think we I think yeah. I think this mouselin is ready for battle. There you go. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice mouselin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Have I missed any metal areas? Yes, we got this one. This is our rogue. And again, what we're going to do is on the metal area, we're just going to paint the top and go along the top of the blade. Just a tiny bit across, and that'll give us all the light we need. And that's it. Done. Okay, I think that's all our metal areas done. Okay, I suppose we better do the eyes. <laughs> Mikey takes a drink of water. <laughs> Hello, Tal. Always fantastic to see Tal. Tal's a good man. Uh, when all this nasty virus is over, there's lots of people from the UK I need to see and pop up and play games with. Uh, I definitely need Tal and James um, to come up and say hello. We've got Andy, Andy, uh, Mighty Lads of Games. There's so many people I want to see, but this horrible, nasty stay-at-home virus thing, um, it's really ruined 2020. Um, and I'm hoping that 2021 isn't going to be like it is this year. Um, but we have to keep our fingers crossed on that one. And Michelle, of course. Michelle and the whole family. And Dungeons and Dragons and all sorts of lovely things. Awesome stuff. Okay, so let's talk about eyes. Now, with the mouse thin eyes, it's quite a simple thing. All we're doing is I got some pure black. So I'm going to give that a good mix. Um, and what we're looking for is a very, how the, the simple way to put it is a runny mix. We want it very thin. We don't want thick black. Um, and this paint is perfect, the pure black. Um, it's This is a very, there's, it's not thick at all. Um, the, H, the HD paints are thinner. This isn't the HD one, but for some reason this one is very thin. Thank you for following, Solar Vind. <laughs> I gotta stop trying to say all these names because I can't say anything, can I? I'm useless at it. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is, I have let's let's change our brush because we need a smaller brush. This is the Army Painter Insane Detail Brush. I mean, you can't even you can't even see. Let me let me get my little tissue. Can you see that? 
This is the insane detail brush, and it is insane. But do you know what's worse? You got a psycho brush as well. They, they, you, that, that, you got a smaller one called the psycho brush, and honestly, you have to be a psycho to be able to use it um, <laughs> because it's so small. It's got like, it's got like two hairs on it. So I am going to be using the insane detail brush for our little mouse lens. Um, the psycho brush by Army Painter is good. Um, but it's a little bit too small for what we need for our mouse lens. Maybe if you're doing um, eyes, proper eyes, then you go for the, the psycho brush. But this one, this has got a nice nice little head on it. It's, it's, it's cool. It's, it'll do the job. So all we're doing, let's start off with an easy one. <laughs> oh look, there's one with a patch on his out of her eye. We'll do that one first. <laughs> Hello, Mokai. How are you? Hope you're well, lovely. Okay. So, eyeballs. We're going for black. Um, it should be a doddle because the whole eye is going to be black. So let's get up nice and close, and you can watch me make make a fool of myself. <laughs> okay. What we're doing is both my hands steady, and we're going straight into the eye and just adding that black. To the eye all the way around. There we go. And he's done. Oh, he loves the moon. Okay, next one. That wasn't so hard, was it? So, tiny, the tiny, tiny. We're talking the tiniest little drop of paint on the end of my brush. And again, steady in my hands, uh, going directly in and straight onto the eye and the same again with the other eye the key is keeping your hands steady of course uh, and once you've learned how to keep your hands steady by using both your hands to control your brush you can practically do anything but it does take time and it does take practice we all i mean i've been painting 30 odd years doing miniatures um and I still make a mess all the time. It's normal. What you've got to do is just keep on painting. Um, but what will happen is it will become second nature to you when you're like controlling your movements like I'm doing in my hands. So once you've got that sorted and your muscle memory remembers what you're doing, it'll, it'll come natural. So if you are struggling with eyes, um, it will eventually get better. And it's all down to practice and keep on painting, keep on painting. Um, and also is to enjoy yourself. Don't get upset if you've made a make a mess because you can actually paint over your miniature and start again. Um, the key is never giving up. If you give up, you'll never improve. Um, so keep on trying. Um, we all make mistakes. I mean, I'm, I do it all the time and I'm not scared to say it. Um, it's just one of those things so all we're doing is getting a little bit of black into the eye and like I said my brush isn't overloaded so that black is going in there nice and easily and it looks great okay we got our little bard the mouse um, he's actually got his eyes closed because he's doing his little Elvis impression so <laughs> he doesn't need his eyeballs painted in um, of course our little knight you can't even see his eyes but what I did with him is I put a nice light color behind and an ink wash so you could, it actually gives you the false impression that he, you can actually see his eyes when I haven't actually painted them but it, it actually looks like he's got little eyeballs in there Shortcuts in painting. Okay, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> I, I'm just see, seeing some stuff in chat, and uh, you know, I, I gotta, you know, ignore it. <laughs> you can always tell when Tommy's in chat. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. 
again steady in my hand with the black straight in and boom we are done and again boom straight in we are done simple as that two little eyeballs now our rogue again tiny bit of paint remember as well um, when you're using such a little amount of paint on your brush it will dry very fast um, I know I'm talking to you all but I'm trying to get the job done as well um, so you want to keep that brush nice and moist that looks fantastic um, you want to keep the brush nice and moist to keep that paint wet on your thank you for subscribing Gerald nice to see you in chat as well okay and uh, we are down to our wizard I'm gonna call this the Tommy wizard the Tommy smoking wizard <laughs> Tommy the Mage Mouse. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, see, I've, I've ruined my brush laughing now. <laughs> ah, we all love you, Tommy. You know that. <laughs> Okay, let's get these two little mouselings eyeballs done. Um, wrong brush, Mikey. The head of my brush has gone awful. Let me just moisten it up a little bit. Give it a twirl. Now what I'm doing is, um, this is another little secret. Um, and most of my goblins do the same thing. I'm not gonna show you how we get a point on our brush the, the proper way and that is we put the brush in our mouths and give it a twirl like, this, like that but the way to do it which is the proper way <clears throat> is you get a little tissue like this and you moisten the head and we and you just spin you just spin your brush head and that gives you a nice little point on the end of your brush now if you've been painting for quite a while you'll end up doing what I do when you're off camera and that is you'll probably stick this in your mouth and give it a little twirl in your mouth not recommended not recommended but you'll end up doing it anyway <laughs> and I can guarantee you half the people in <laughs> in chat will admit and say that they've done exactly the same thing okay let's get this wizard's eyeballs done Boom, and you're done. Boom, and you're done. I think a lot of things with painting miniatures as well. It's just it's pure confidence. Um, everybody hates painting eyes. Um, and sometimes you can think about it. You can think about painting eyes too much. Um, so you're nervous before you go in. So if you just go to your miniature look at the eyeball go straight in boom oh he's done and again boom he's done you've done it before you think about it if you think about it you're going to start wobbling you're going to start panicking so just get in there poke in those eyeballs and you'll knock them out <laughs> like that easy so sometimes thinking about things which i do um is not the good way just try your best and keep on keep on painting simple as that okay so we'll let these little eyeballs dry um, and what we're going to do is we'll be adding some nice gloss varnish over those eyes and that will give us all the reflections we need for these little mouse and eyes and um, so what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to add the bases while, they, while those dry I'll add the base and again I'm going back to my lovely little 50 50 mix of grass artificial grass Tommy um, and leaves <laughs> so, <laughs> so we've got the leaves and the grass this these leaves I'll show you the um, leaves I use it's the green stuff world if I can find my little pot and it's disappeared on me oh sorry 
Oh. <laughs> Make my... There we are, that is. My workshop is so full of stuff. These are the leaves I use for my mix. This is from Green Stuff World. You can buy these leaves from Mighty Lancer Games. Um, all my patrons as well get 10% uh, off all the, um, the items from the store from Mighty Lancer Games. So becoming a patron of mine is an awesome thing. Not only do you support me, you get lots of discounts and all sorts of wonderful things. Plus you get to talk and mess around with all these fantastic goblins in chat. Now all I've done is added these little leaves here. Nice big, lots of little leaves are absolutely beautiful. Um, and now all, all I've done is mixed them in with some ordinary grass flocking. Um, and this is an autumn mix, so it's quite a dark mix. I don't like the bright, the bright green mixes. Um, I find they don't look realistic. So having an autumn mix is a darker grass but it works really well. So what I do now is I got one of these, my little blister packs. I always use the blister packs that my miniatures come in. So we don't waste anything. Um, and of course some PVA glue. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not looking at chat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I love these guys. Right, so for adding our lovely little bases, all I'm going to do is add some PVA glue to the base of our little mouse lens. Very simple. This is an old um, Citadel starter brush. So that gets used as my PVA glue in brush. And all we do is add little bits around the base. Now we don't cover the whole base. We just do it in sections. Hmm. Having patches always looks better than having the whole base um, covered in grass. Uh, because then you get the texture of the base that we've added with the sand. Plus you get all the effects of the grass and those leaves. So all we do then is we just actually let me let me go back in the focus here there you go now all we're doing is adding the little leaves onto our mini just sprinkle it around try to get this so you can see it all and then we just tap it off with our finger go around the base to clear it up with our thumb. I'm getting that focus back in so you can see what I've done. There you go. And it's a beautiful little base. You've got little leaves on there and the grass. And that's absolutely beautiful. All I need to do to this miniature now is put that gloss varnish on the eyes and I'm calling him a finished little mouse lamp. So I'm going to do the same with all the bases now and then we'll do those eyes with the gloss and that'll be our little box set of mouse lens all finished. Right, um, are we in focus? Yes we are. I've just started playing the new uh, Conan, Conan Exiles map. Uh, one of my patrons, James, um, he has um, purchased the server and all my goblin patrons are allowed to join for free. Um, I've got the original Conan Exiles server and again that's on the Patreon and anyone who wishes to play on the server with myself and all my other goblins, um, you're all free to do so. Um, we've also got uh, we've also got Ark um, 
uh, with Corey, another one of my patrons. He runs the ARC server on my Patreon, on the Discord channel. Um, and again, you're all welcome to join that as well. Um, the servers are fantastic because it's all goblins and we all know each other. So you've got no nasty, nasty players. Um, no corpse camping, as I should say, like on Warcraft and stuff like that. Um, and it makes for a great atmosphere when you're playing on a server that everybody is like a big family. Um, so if you fancy playing any online games, again, it's all free when you're a patron. Um, and my patron is one dollar. I'm not pushing anyone to join. Uh, you're all welcome to join. Um, but it is a fantastic community. Um, we, we are a huge family of very loving people, believe it or not. We're goblins, but we're all a huge, fantastic family. And anybody will help you. We got artists in there, we got miniature painters, we got big professional miniature painters like Gorilla with a Brush. Um, all sorts of absolutely fantastic people. Um, 3D printers, um, creators, absolutely it's, it's a wonderful place to be um i am so proud of what uh, we've created on discord and it's private as well so uh, that makes it even better you don't get any stragglers in just to cause problems Yeah, corpse camping used to be horrid on, on World of Warcraft. I mean, I know Claire and myself, we'd like to start playing again. Um, but it's we just don't have the time. Uh, I mean, Conan is definitely my game. And we've also got Baldur's Gate 3 coming out. Um, I can't wait to play Baldur's Gate 3. Another thing you can do with the grep. Um, thank you for following, monkey, monkey pox. Um, another thing you can do with the grass as well is um, I can show you on this miniature here. Um, you can see I've added the PVA glue and added the sand. Now you've got a tiny little lip just there on the base. This is where the metal miniature uh, base is. Um, so what you can do is use your glue here, PVA glue and just put the PVA glue up against that lip going around the mouse lip and then when you add that grass it actually covers that lip so you can't see it um, when the uh, grass has been added another little secret tip with the plastic miniatures you can cut away the bases more easily and just stick them on but with the metal ones it's harder to actually remove the bases um, and it's easier to just work around them with the gravel. And I always add bases to all my miniatures. Um, um, I use the base boss bases from Reaper Miniatures um, and they come in all the different sizes that you need for all your gaming needs. Okay, so that's all the glue on those. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, let's add the bases to these. Um, what we're going to do now is just add all these little leaves and sprinkle them around our little wizard first with the nice little leaves. 
a little bit closer so I'm in focus. So all we're doing is adding the lovely little flocking and leaves to our mini. Giving it a little tap to get rid of the excess. And then I'm just using my thumb to clean up the rim of the base. Once it's completely dry, you can use a larger brush and just to clean off the miniature if you've got any extra little bits of grass stuck to the mini. Let's go and get the barbarian done. I'll see you later in game, Renegade Shank. Take care on those roads. There we are. So that's the rogue. Just adding that little bit of grass and like I say you only need one or two leaves are stuck in with the PVA glue and it just gives a fantastic little effect and it works so well with the mouse lens as well I mean they they, they live in all that type of stuff they just they wriggle through all the leaves and you know you can just imagine them in the woods you know little houses in the woods I just realised I've missed the eyes on this one. Look at that, I missed the eyes. So I've got to paint the eyes off on this one. I thought I'd done him. Yeah, so I'll put you there because you need your eyes painted in. Our little bard. Now, Reaper Miniatures do another box set as well. Um, and it's the um, Mouselin Tavern. Um, so I might get the Mouselin Tavern in the future too. Um, we'll see. La 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 la! <laughs> A little singy Mouseling. Okay, how many more of these we got? Four more to base up. Okay, we're tapping off the excess, going on with our thumb. And there we are. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, adding the extras to your bases. Uh, many of my patrons uh, in the Goblin Army know um, a miniature is not finished until you've added a nice little base. And as many, um, it's adding something of your own to the to the miniature. Um, and I always say this because it's true. The sculptors make you the miniatures. Um, we paint the miniatures. But what you do with a base is your own thing. It's a completely separate thing to what the sculptor's done. So anything you do to a base is your work is, is your sculpt should you say um, you're enhancing that miniature and each little base that you add grass to and flock in you know all the little leaves little twigs little rocks you're making that base and that miniature your own and unique to you um, and that's what makes it super special um, it just looks awesome when you've added a little base
this um, ink wash I added this ink wash and it's the um, this is Agrax Surf Shade you can see a tiny bit on the front there but for some reason it's gone quite glossy now if you've got a miniature where the ink wash has gone glossy because uh, I don't like that that looks too glossy for me what you can do is army painter do um, um, anti shine and it's, um, a, it's, a, it's a varnish um, and it's called anti shine and all you do is you paint on the anti shine over your areas that's all glossy and that'll take away that shine so I'll be painting anti shine over the pink areas on this miniature just to take away that glare from the gloss effect from the ink wash now I don't know why um, I don't know why some of the ink washes come up glossy um, I don't know if it's they've put the wrong ink wash into the wrong pot because I know Agrax Surf Shade comes in gloss effect or in uh, the, your normal basic non-gloss um, but sometimes I have an Agrax Surf Shade and a non oil and it'll be glossy uh, but like I say if that happens you can use anti shine from army painter and that will take away that uh, glossy effect And there we are that's the last one there it just makes all the difference having a little base um, I just I just love adding bases I mean you don't have to add bases nobody's forcing anybody to add bases um, but if I move closer to my miniatures now um, you'll see it makes such a difference to the initial or I mean, you've got a nice little unit of 10 fantastic looking mouselings. All of their little bases, all ready to go on adventures. Let me just focus on that. Yeah. I mean, awesome. The, the bases just make all these mouselings pop. Now, the last thing I need to show you for our little set of mouselings today is I'm going to add the gloss varnish. Um, now, I want to talk about the gloss varnish because a lot of people aren't really sure how this works. Um, and, of course, it's very simple once you know how. Um, it is um, white. Uh, give it a little mix and it will stay white. Um, and people are scared to put this on their miniatures because they think it's going to actually um, stay white when it dries. Um, the key to using your gloss varnish is to put it on very thinly. Um, and also when it dries, it goes crystal clear anyway. If you put the gloss varnish on thickly in layers, it will start to cloud. So the, the key is to just put on as little as possible and I'll show you that now. Yeah. Focus. That's it. Talk with a paintbrush in your mouth, you worry. There you go. <laughs> right. I'm going to use this nice brush. Don't worry about using a nice brush when you're putting a tiny bit on because we're going to wash it straight away. But we need to have control of that paint. So all I'm putting on is a tiny bit of gloss on the end of my brush and we're just going over the eye and that's all we do and we do that to all the little mouselins with their little eyeballs and I've actually missed the nose I was I'm gonna show you quickly the nose as well so I'll quickly do these eyes and we'll get that nose done um, because we also want to add gloss varnish to their little noses because the little noses are going to be pink um, I'll quickly add this to the rest of the eyes there you go you haven't got eyes um, have I missed you? yes I have Okay, let's move this back a little bit. 
Okay, I, I'll quickly do the um, nose before we finish up. Right, um, I use for the noses. I'm going to use fair, fair highlight. Uh, I'll have to move this back. The light is reflecting. Excuse my um, non-professional show today. <laughs> so I'm using fair highlight. I'll give that a quick mix. And it's just to show you what I'm using for these little noses. Um, and all we do is a tiny bit of that. Uh, I've already given this a wash. Um, and each little mouse thing has a tiny, mini little nose. So all I'm going to do is just a little dab on the nose. Here you go. So each nose has a tiny weeny bit of this beautiful paint just to highlight the nose and that just finishes it off perfectly see it's stuff like that the tiny little details that's what makes the miniature just stand out a little bit more there you go mm. i got a shiny nose <laughs> Okay, this little nose. There you go. You happy now? I can breathe. <laughs> oh. And there you go. There you go, my little bard singer. Okay, last one. And I have to paint your little eyeballs in too, don't I? There you go. Okay. Oh, I missed that one as well. Goodness me. Okay, let's get this one done. All right, we're going back. This one needs your eyes finished. There you go. There's a bit of black. Yeah, there you go. Oh, into the eyes. Boom. Boom. You know what? Quick and easy. And his little eyeballs are done. And we'll give that a gloss varnish, and he'll be finished. And one of my other merch at this one. Did I paint you? No, I didn't. So let's add your little pink nose, madam. There you are. Yeah. And there we are. So there we are. That's my little mouse lens all done. All I need to do is add a little bit of uh, gloss varnish to certain areas on the eyes. And I'll put a little spot of gloss varnish on top of the nose as well. So I'll just zoom in again and show you the minis um, and once again these were all uh, done on show I all I did was add the ink wash after the show and painted finished off the blocking in of colors so all in all this has been about three hours for uh, three hours for painting all these miniatures so three hours and you got your box set done for your Reaper Miniatures Mouselin set. So I'm super happy with those. Um, these are actually a set for um, Lee, who lives in Australia. So I'll be posting these off to Lee because uh, he absolutely loves his little mouselins. Um, Lee Pierce. Thank you, Tal. So there we are. This is um, my Mouselin Heroes box set. Um, absolutely fantastic stream today. Uh, thank you all so much for popping in to see me once again. Um, uh, the next stream is on Saturday and we'll be starting something brand new from Reaper Managers. Uh, so have you got any questions before I say goodnight to everybody? Apart from Tommy. <laughs> Take your shirt off. Yep, I'm going to be playing Conan now. So thank you everybody for tuning in. My shows are an hour long. Um, and I, for me, an hour is long enough. Um, it's it's it isn't as easy as it looks 
uh, doing a show like this. And I got total respect for all these people that paint for hours and hours doing a Twitch stream. I, I, I couldn't do it. An hour is more than enough. So loads and loads of love to everybody. Thank you all for following and subscribing. And hopefully I'll see you all on Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. So good night, everybody. <laughs>